Who do I tell? Who do I need by my side to help support me? What type of surgery will I choose? Will I do chemo? It was overwhelming and I felt like I was drowning. These were the questions I faced. At age 59, I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer just after I had retired. My job had included improving workflows and implementing computer systems in healthcare. I was a planner and I needed to find answers to my questions. Just like that, the phase of my life I was so looking forward to was not going to be filled with questions of which cruise to take, which craft should I do, and who to have lunch with. I put my support team in place and I quickly needed to decide on surgery. My preference was a bilateral mastectomy, but learned that the focus of the surgery needed to be on the diseased breast. I had to choose between a lumpectomy or a single mastectomy. Because of my large breasts, I knew that a single mastectomy would not work for me and decided to have a lumpectomy. Just four months later, I was hit with an ovarian cancer diagnosis and with the BRCA1 gene mutation. More decisions, more questions. Do we stop radiation to have surgery for the ovarian cancer? How does this affect my breast cancer treatment? Am I ever going to get off this cancer hamster wheel? Faced with a higher chance of recurrence because of the BRCA1 gene mutation, now my oncologist strongly recommended that I have a bilateral mastectomy. I met with my surgeon and told them I did not want reconstruction. She encouraged me to consult with a plastic surgeon to discuss my decision because going from large busted to flat was going to be a big change. She wanted to make sure I was ready for that. My only option was reconstruction with implants and I left the office questioning if, if that was right for me. How will I ever decide which way to go? I had to complete my treatment for ovarian cancer before I could have the mastectomy and I had the gift of time to do my research. I needed to figure out what was best for me. I looked to my husband who is my rock and he made it very clear that this decision was mine. It was my body and my choice and he would support whatever decision I made. I reached out to my peers on Cancer Connection to hear their first-hand experiences. I relied on my support team to talk things through. I researched information online. The planner and me needed a way to find a concrete answer, so I completed a decision document to help weigh the risks and benefits. The light bulb came on. After researching implants, I had to ask myself some tough questions. Did I want to risk having another surgery and putting a foreign object in my body that for me could potentially cause issues that need to be removed? At the age of 42, my grandmother was diagnosed with breast cancer. She wore a breast prosthesis and it never seemed to face her and it certainly didn't define her. I remember the special pillow on her chest and how many times I rested my head there. It never detracted from our cuddles or how she showed her love to us. I figured if she could do it, then so could I. The decision about what I needed to do became clear. I would have a bilateral mastectomy with no reconstruction and remain flat. I had just spent three years ridding my body of two cancers and it was time to stop the treatment cycle and get on with living and enjoy my retirement. I completed my surgery and despite having complications, I am very happy with my decision. This was the right decision for me. I can finally breathe and look ahead to my retirement. Instead of doctor's appointments, tests, and surgeries, my time is spent socializing with friends and family, being immersed in my sewing room and looking forward to cruising again. My decision was right for me, and by asking the right questions, you can make the right decision for you too.